Hi, I'm Joe Tech, and I've got another review for you from JoeTech.com. Uh, today's review is for software. It's actually a plugin for Firefox, and it's called Glido. Uh, their little slogan here is "Why surf when you can glide." Um, now, Glido appears to only be available for Firefox. I'm not sure if they're going to make it available, or if they have any plans for Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, or any other browser. Um, but it is available currently for Firefox and um, I've actually seen a couple of updates since I've downloaded it so they're, they're working hard on it for Firefox which is great for me because Firefox is what I use. Uh, you can see it down here in, in uh, the status bar of my Firefox but first let's go to the download page and I'll, I'll just go over a couple of the details about it. Uh, the version I'm using is 1.0.3 I believe I started out with 1.0.1 .1, and I've had, uh, like I said, in the past couple of weeks I've had two updates. Uh, so I know they're working hard on this and they're releasing new features and, and making stuff good. Um, it's had about 23,000 downloads, almost 24. And out of 31 reviews they're looking at uh, an average of five stars, which is awesome. So anyway, you come to this page, and I'll link to that in the sidebar and from the, the uh, blog post on Joe Tech, and you install the plugin, and you're ready to go. Now I'll show you what this looks like in Yahoo. I've opened up an article, uh, and this article is about Moscow subway blasts. So it's about the recent bombings in, uh, in Moscow. Now when I open that up, <coughs> I get articles at the bottom here, and you can see right away uh, that this is related to this article and if you click on it it just opens it up in a new tab here and just starts talking about this similar uh, topic to what I'm reading currently so I'll close that, that page is a little slow uh, you can see the ticker also advances to the next item and it doesn't just do that when you click on it, it does it automatically and it's based on a, a preset time and I'll show that in a minute so one thing you can do as well is you can move backwards and forwards. So for example, I missed that one. Maybe I want to go see it again. I just move back using the back arrow and get to it. Or if I want to see the YouTube video, I go that way. And if you mouse over, you can't see it on, on uh, the video, but on my screen, it's actually showing uh, a pretty in-depth summary of the text in the article or the video uh, that I'm about to click on. So I can get kind of a preview of, of what it's going to be about. Now over here I have a news icon. If I click on that, I get related stories. And this is uh, typically it's news articles. Uh, we've got it from mercurynews.com up here, BBC UK, um, Washington Times. And if I click on one of those articles, it brings me to the article and you can see it's it's uh, definitely related so I'll go back and you can also see on these articles it, it gives a, a short summary here and you'll notice it shows how long ago it was so you can click on this here to immediately share any of those articles and we'll get in, into the sharing in a minute but this allows you to share articles without even opening them um, and there's other things besides the related stories. If you move over to the next thing, you have tweets. In this case, there's tweets. Sometimes that doesn't show up if there's no related tweets. In this case, there are. So it's going to show them here. And it shows, you know, who, who wrote the tweet. And you can click to uh, click the link to go to it. And it shows when it was written. These were both written yesterday. So we'll click the X in the top corner and get out of there. The next thing over is videos. <clears throat> in the videos, it shows three previews. It doesn't really uh, preview the video, but it shows you uh, kind of a screen cap from it and a little bit of a summary. It shows the length of the video, how many views it has, which is nice. So you can see how popular it is and its rating. Uh, again, you get the share option, so you can share it. Um, and if you click on a video, it goes right to the video, and again, you can see this is related, so uh, it works out pretty well. And just viewing this video, it popped up another video that it says is related. So we'll go ahead and close that. 
And we'll go back to the videos. I want to show you also that you can see what site the video is from. These are all from YouTube. And I'm not really sure how many sites uh, they look at for videos, but you're going to get a lot of them from YouTube just because it's so huge. So the next thing over is information. Now I thought this was interesting because it's kind of a different take. Instead of just a, a related story or something like that, it, it actually shows information like, for example, uh, we're talking about uh, Moscow. So because we're talking about Moscow, it brings up stuff related to Moscow like Vladimir Putin, if I pronounce that right. And it just uh, gives, again, a little summary. And You click on it, it goes out to the Wikipedia page. Um, in this, I don't know if they're all going to Wikipedia or if that's just the case here, but uh, Wikipedia, just like YouTube, it's probably going to come up fairly often because it's so huge. So the next item over is web pages. Click on that and you get web pages related. Now these are just going to be sites that, it could be a blog or something else, but it's not necessarily news uh, or news articles. It's just going to bring up stuff that it that appears to be related, but from just general websites. Now this one actually happens to be a news website. So there will be some crossover here as far as what I've seen. Um, and then finally over here we have uh, top headlines. Now they're, they're not necessarily related. As a matter of fact, uh, here's a good example right here. Uh, USA Today, LL Cool J, and Sarah Palin. Okay. I really don't care about that, but it's top news article, and so it shows up under the top news articles, top headlines. Now there's other stuff that's you know slightly more important to me, but it shows stuff that other people are reading. So that's kind of good if you if you don't know what else to read uh, read about, you can get on another topic this way. And then over here we have the sharing that I showed you briefly earlier, and I'll show you kind of how this works. Uh, they do have Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, Bebo, and, and the list kind of goes on and on. Really, I, I probably only use a couple, two or three of these, but it's nice to have all of them as options, which is really good. Um, so I'll click on Twitter, and I already did this, so I'm not going to post it again, uh, but I'll show you what it does. It actually fills in, and if you're not logged in, you'll have to log in, uh, but if you are logged in, uh, it fills, takes you to your Twitter page, and fills in all the information with a shortened link to the article and then they put in their their uh, kind of self-serving link here but that's fine um, and then what it does I already did one of these earlier when you go to your profile you can see this is what other people see it posts that tweet and and you know how Facebook and everything works um, or if you don't you know go figure that out but uh, basically it just shows you that's what it does and uh, so that's how the, the sharing works. And then the last thing on here really is uh, the settings and uh, just kind of miscellaneous tools where you, you can share Glido, you can tell other people about it, etc. cetera. Or um, uh, you can go into the settings and you can change settings like, do you want to open a new tab or a new window? Uh, how often do you want stuff to pop up? Um, where do you want this bar to show up, etc. Um, so there's a lot of those settings. I, you can play with them. There's not a whole lot there. and uh, Really I like everything where it is. I made this text here a little bigger. Other than that, really not a whole lot to change in there. Um, overall it is really good. The one thing I did uh, note that I said uh, kind of threw me off a little bit is the, the video popping up, it, it doesn't happen all the time and um, it seemed a little bit sporadic to me, but overall, it's really great. And I, I have a easy access to anything I want in here. The only real problem I have with it now is remembering to use it. So, um, if you remember it's down there, it's a great little plugin. Uh, so, that's about it. Um, go ahead and read the rest of the review. In the sidebar, I'll put a link at uh, joetech.com. You can see the rest of the review and uh, get links to go download the plugin and to their website. Thanks for watching.